Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are up here on the second floor, you might say, or actually third floor, I guess. We have our iron production down here, our iron plate and iron rods. And up here we have nothing yet, except the big flying thing. And yeah, I still don't know what to call it. Flying stingray or something. Looks like a bit of a stingray to me. Alright. But anyway, up here we are going to make screws. And this floor is way too big for making screws. So screws is just going to be the initial production up here and then we'll have other production lines up here as well but screws is going to be the first one so let's see we need a constructor and we need it right here I think and if we say screws we have the regular screw screw uh, recipe which takes one iron rod or we have the alternate which takes two iron ingots and we are going to use the alternate because yeah it's just much much easier so for that we need 15 iron ingots per minute and that will produce 90 screws per minute so that's actually just five machines which will produce 450 or a full belt pretty much tier four of iron screws so that's what we're going to use and of course we want this to be elevated so one two three and i am pretty sure that yeah let's just stick that in there and let's Put the constructor on eight and let's see that's where we want it that is where we want it and then we can put this in again which will make it connect automatically which is really nice so we like that and let's just stick in our constructors five of them one, two, three, four, five, and one full belt, one uh, 450 belt, which is 480 now, but let's just say 450, will actually supply three lines of this, so that's what 1350 screws a minute that we can produce from one line of iron ingots and that is pretty awesome so let's get this built one there and it shouldn't take too long right we're only Five machines. Is it five I have here? Do we have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. There we go. So that's that. And then we just need this. And what? My mouse is acting up a little bit. I don't not know if it's because my cat is on my lap, ha 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 ha, but uh, it sure isn't playing nice. And funny thing is, it's not, well it wasn't my cat, uh, we were just going to take care of it for a little while until my girlfriend's sister picked it up, but now it's ours. So yeah. We couldn't give it up. I like to say that it's my girlfriend who couldn't give it up, but I couldn't give it up either. So, but 
it wouldn't be fair to blame it all on her. Let's see... That works. But no, it doesn't. We need to move one out. There. That'll work. Okay. Let's just get this built all the way. And be done with it. And have our screw production going. There. And... I don't know if you'll actually need that many screws anyway, because I have decided to go with the alternate recipe for, well, that's not right, for uh, reinforced iron plate. So I'm going to go with stitched iron plate instead. So I'm not actually sure that we need that many screws, but we'll see. We will see. Alright, let's stick in some pools. That one can't go in yet. Because it will if you put these in where you wanna connect, actually none of them can go in yet. Come on, Watson. Because if you put that in there, then it won't let you put in the belt. And we want belt, of course. So let's just put that in here as well. And... There we go. And we need this line to come out and over. So let's put in... Uh, Conveyor here, or a stackable conveyor pole, and put that in. And the output is on this side, so we need it here, which is fine. So let's put that in. So it's definitely there, and I think it's there actually. So let's try it. Yeah, perfect. And there we go. We are set up. All we need to hook up is the power now. And we will be producing screws. Let's, whoops. Let's just get these in so it's done and it doesn't look ridiculous look, that everything is flying. And we're not... Okay. That's it. That's it. Very cool. Alright. So... And this belt can actually support as I said, three lines of these. So I think we'll build them across here. And then we will have our next production up here. And let's see what's at the end. Yeah, we can build out there easy, no problem. Okay. So let's put in some power poles and get these bad boys going. Come up. And 
Put that one there. And that's that. And then we need some power coming across, which isn't a big problem, I think. Where do we have the power? Where do we have a power pool? Oh, right there. So, we'll stick a power pool here. And should be able to connect more lines to this. Connect that up there. Tear out the wall. Put that in there. Oh, we need the wall that up there. Put the walls back in. And there we go. And of course we need to configure these for alternates for screws. Oh, darn it, the output is this way. <laughs> okay, fair enough, I made a, bit, a little mistake. Why can't I select that one? Okay, and now that all of that is full of iron ingots, fantastic. So, how are we going to solve this problem? Because we need the belt to come in here. I guess we're going to have to move this out a bit. And that's okay, it's not a problem. Move it out here. Uh, that's one too close. So there instead. go and then pick one in here and was this one right in the middle yes it was fantastic okay approaching what oh this one There, we can stick that one back in again, and let's, we can actually stick this one back in again. And let's just put a storage container down here for the minute, oh not there, over here, and get all of these iron ingots off our output ah. there we go all right iron ingots are coming out and screws as well we are producing screws fantastic Okay. So that's all fine and dandy. And we can can't even close to get all of those screws out of the machines, but we will. We will. Okay. Grab those and actually let's just let them run in there for now. Okay. So that's screws. Next, I really want to get, where do we have production there, assembler. I want to make a reinforced iron plate, but actually I want to make stitched iron plate. So if we select that recipe, it's 6 iron plate per minute, and or 15 iron plate per minute, and 30 wire. 
75 wire per minute. So let's see, 75, 150, so that's six machines that we can handle producing that. So that's what? That's one, it's 15, 30, 45 reinforced iron plate per minute or stitched iron plate per minute that we can produce from one belt of copper. Okay. Suppose we can make that work. And we need six of these machines. Do we put them out here after? I think we do. I think we do. So we're actually we're using all of our well we're not we could split off from this one and grab some iron ingots from there at least for now at least for now yeah actually let's remove this container how many screws did we get 285, not too bad. So we do need to figure out a storage area at some point, but right now I just want things producing. And then we'll fig figure out where to put it afterwards. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I suppose we could put another line of screw machines here because we could get the ingots down and and running underneath here and then coming out and going up to the next production line and the, with the output we could drop the output down to underneath and have two outputs. I think I like that idea. I think I like that idea. So... We could even go over top, right? With another line of... Actually, we don't this the input can just keep going it's just the output where we need to drop it down and then we have yeah i like that so screw production is going to be over here which means that we're going to have plate production here And we need two inputs for that, so let's see, what do we need? We need splitters and need them here, whoops, wrong way. Like that. And we just need two of them. We just need two of them. So let's put the splitters in. Actually, it's not. Let's put our assemblers on eight and make sure that we have everything lined up before we do anything stupid. So I think needs to be here. Well, move at just the wrong moment. Pretty sure it needs to be right there. Can we then get these over here? No, it needs to go forward one. that 
And is this going to be straight? Yeah, that's straight. And that can go in there. Okay. So let's put down the assemblers. We need six of them. That wasn't the right spot. Whatsoever. One. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I thought so. Six. Okay. And splitters. And I think it needs to be here. I'm not actually sure. Let's try here for now. Nope. I was right. So it needs to be here. Nope. That's not right. Come on. Suppose it needs to be there. <laughs> no, that's not right. Jesus! Is that right? No. Can't. Is it not possible to get it right? That most certainly isn't right. Okay, I think I see the pattern now. There. That's right. Okay. So we need it there. And we need it there. There. And the last one. There. Let's get these belts in. Actually, let's put these belts in. Ah, come on. It's easier to do the straight ones first, in my opinion. There we go. And then we can do this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That. No, 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 no. Okay. And there we go. So that's all hooked up. And then we just need an output. Do we want to raise that up or do we want to keep it down on the floor? We do have the ability to run through here. So let's keep it down on the floor. And do mergers. There. Belts. And when we have this up and running, we will actually have a, uh, finally have access to faster conveyor belts. Uh, double the speed, so 120. We're not in the right spot. Much better. So that can increase our production quite a bit. Uh, well, it can double it, right? 
Uh, that's not enough. We need to get way more than that. Alright. Then we need some power poles. And we'll stick one. Should have done that first. It can be quite a pain to get in there when you don't do it first. Let's build one there. And in there. And in there. And one at the end. Okay. And get all of these guys powered up. And then we just need to hook up the whoa, copper and the iron. So the iron, we're going to split off here, at least for now. So stick a splitter in here. I want to get up top. Okay. Actually, I want to get on top of this one. And we want the splitter right there. Something like that. Will that go in there? I wonder. Yes, it will. Fantastic. All right. So that's iron hooked up, then we just need the copper. And the copper we have right here. So what we'll do is... We'll tear that wall out. Stick in a wall conveyor. And we'll stick in a wall conveyor here as well. And... We just need this output. Which one is output? That one. So, if we come down here, what are we in cloak? Ah, there we go. And now we can come down. Let's come down here. Actually, let's come down all the way over here. There. And then come over this way. There. There. Get it across. And get it going in there. And then we, of course, need to set these up to be stitched iron plate. And iron plate and stitched iron plate. Okay. So we have the iron flowing. I is this already packed up? Yeah, it is. It does need iron plate. Why is it not going in there? It has power. Ah, darn it. Stupid, 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 stupid. We don't need... We need iron plate. We don't need iron ingots. Crap. That was my bad. Man, that was... <clears throat> Whoops. So we actually need to produce more iron plate. Or do we? Can we just 
grab the iron plate from the one that we already have producing. I suppose we could. I suppose we could. we're not actually using it for anything and I do have iron plate production somewhere else on a temporary basis so it's okay to steal this production line of iron plate and it's not even all of all of it that we're gonna steal right it's just gonna be a little bit it's just gonna be a little bit but we do have the copper there now so let's see do we have yeah let's tear that out stick in a actually let's stick in a t crossing so and then let's come down we don't have to run all the way across the factory We're gonna go straight into that, which we don't want. So we will do a turn and another turn and ramp. There we go. We're down. Okay. So this thing. We actually need to turn the output around, or turn the input around upstairs, or do something else. I think we'll do something else. I think what we'll do is put a wall conveyor here, and we need to go upstairs again. Hmm. This didn't go quite as planned, but almost. Almost as planned. And that's almost good enough. So let's come up here. Actually, do we need to be up here right now? No, we don't. We don't. We need to be downstairs. Think, log, think. Okay, we are going to stick in a bit of this just temporarily. Just to work with oh, the exterior of the building. There. And we need to tear out at least some of these. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put in the wall conveyors here. And let's do one. It's really hard to see. So there, one, two, three, four, there. And let's try sticking one in there and see if it'll reach. I think it will. Whoops. Not there. There. And. I'll reach. Okay. That'll go in there. And... So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. Okay. There. There. And bring this line along. And I don't mind this. Uh, I mean, I like the conveyors running on the outside here. I think that's pretty cool. 
And then we need a wall conveyor up here. Actually, we need a two. And we need this thing come up there. There we go. And let's run down here and hook it up. That's fine. And then we just need to hook it up upstairs. And then we will have stitched iron plate produ plate producing. Actually, no, we won't, will we? Because I made another dummy. Jesus. Because we need... Jesus. We need wire for this. Not ingots. You know what? We can tear all of this out and start completely over. But that is going to be in the next episode, guys. So not as much progress as I would have liked. Uh, I, my brain apparently didn't work today. So it is what it is. We will get it done. I think I'll get it done in between episodes. And so you don't have to sit through that pain again. And, uh, yeah. But we did get the screws going. So that's something. That is something. But, yeah. Not the most successful episode in the history of episodes. I have to say. But, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Even though it wasn't spectacularly as successful. But, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.